Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next I like to show you that how to replace this General Motors Opel engines, Ecotec engines, uh, spark plugs. And first I need to open these bolts in here and this is my first task. Okay and then then I open this this cover and for this cover opening we need one special tool and this is here is this tool what is like this torx tool and there is like six corners and this is the shape and that kind of tools we can purchase in any car service shop or car spare parts shop or some like stores like Home Depot or Amazon.com this is Torx uh, this opening tool and the size is when I have this measurement I measure to put this point to point amount is like 5 millimeter is this distance to one up to next up five millimeter and this this tool fits in these holes in here and then I need of course French then I open that bolt and here is the second bolt and then in this General Motors idea I need to open this oil 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 hat oil cap and then I rotate these bolts open and this is free but then second bolt is there and then there is one one hose what we need to open in here there is the small this clipper what opens in that way and then we can take this cover out and there we can see then this engine area and in that step is good to install this oil cap back because something can drop in this oil oil area and it's it's bad okay and then here we can see this ignition coil and the same torx tool fits also in this bolt that bolt that and that and next I open those bolts before of that I need to take this this electric cable in here, that part away, and this opens so that I need to press that area in here and then pull out this. Actually, it is so that, that I need to bend that in this direction, that way, and then, then pull out this way, bend and out. And there is this cable, and this is like ignition coil electric cable. Okay, and then I continue this my job. I can take this ignition coil package. The interesting maker is General Motors and Delphi is this company what has been made, made this part. And this is interesting that this one ignition coil covers four, four spark plugs. In some cars, like in Toyota, there is one ignition coil per spark plug and it's much more cheaper and easier to replace and service than this one big block. Because this one helps ignition coil costs more than this only one, one, one coil. But there is some idea that, that there is one big block. 
and then I rotate these bolts open open in that way and this is free and then this is still in there and here's and then I take my finger in here and I little bit lift up that and I can feel that this is not totally open okay actually I can take those screws away they are long now this is still okay and there those bolts are I need to rotate Now, now this ignition coil package opens and there is all of those one, two, three, four cylinder those spark plug coils. Okay and then okay and, and then then we need to take those bolts bolts away. And it's good to take those these bolts away that they don't drop in these spark plug holes. And there is second and third and fourth bolt. Okay, and here are those bolts. Okay, and this is this is good and then we can then we can continue. Okay, and then when I am planning to replace this Opel Opel spark plug, I need spark plug tool. And this tool is standard the spark plug tool and we need this longer bar and I have used in here duct tape in here and the size is 16 mm. 1.6 mm is that di diameter in here and here we have this spark type and it goes in that way and when it is in here we only rotate that open okay and then I saw that we start in this first spark look put this in there and and I take my friends and in that way it opens like in this direction now it opens and then I take this shock it away and I take this spark plug away and it's me and here we have this spark plug and then I take that spark plug away and this is this spark plug what we had and there is this hole and then when we install this new spark plug back there is idea that we press that in this way and then carefully do not drop that in here carefully in here and then first we rotate in this in, we insert that in strike forward in here that it is in it is in this tube and then I rotate carefully and it rolls and runs nicely and then when this is in this end we need to use Tokue French tool or then this socket carefully next okay and then we can fasten that uh, spark plug using this Tokue French tool and it happens so that we fasten that but there is now risk that if we fasten this too much then we can destroy this spark plug threads and this hole and that's this is really big li, li, there is little little risk that we destroy this spark plug but if we use only one hand this is about 
20 newton meters torque, but I, I use this torque French tool next that we can be su sure. Okay, and here I have the special torque French tool, and there is scale, and when I rotate that amount, the scale moves, and 20 is the first line in here, there is 50, 100 newton meters, and 20 is first. Now it's there, 20 is there, and then I insert this my torque French tool in here. And I, I a little bit move that, and when we hear this click, now, now this dog way is okay. And I, I was quite, quite okay when I adjust that in with my friends, but it is not so accurate than this dog way friends tool. Okay, and then next step is that we need to. In, Replace the second, third, and fourth spark book, and then this job is is made. And final step is to install back this this ignition key. Ignition key coils back it's in that that way. And there is good to remember that this GM Delphi is logo is in that array. And next I insert those those bolts. Bolts in there. There was this first. Then the second third and fourth. Then I need to then I need to fasten these bolts and when I have fastened these bolts final step is that I need to install this cable carefully and we need to hear this clip this must this clip now it's in fine in there and then the last part is that when I have, I have of course fastened those four, four bolts. Okay, and now I have fastened these bolts using that my Torx tool. And then I, then I take this my cover, but before of that I check this my cable. This is my cable in here, right, in that way, and then I press that, okay, good, and then, then this cover, it comes in here, and there's idea that first I insert that in this area, like in here, in that way, and it is like in this this kind of position, and then I move that in this, this way. Okay, and this is good to check this hole. And then we need to insert this, these bolts in here. And these bolts, when I, when I take my hand in here, a little bit move and then I start fasten this bolt went nice and then next one yeah. it's good to move that in this way okay and this was this went also well and then next is this Hose cable, hose in here, and then fastening, and then final part is this cap, and there is good to 
insert that in here and then press in this way and then this cap is nicely in there okay and this was this job and thank you for watching this video and have a nice day to you